Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Copa Nito All-Stars Soccer. I can already tell, unfortunately, from the title, this is gonna be one of those videos where people are like, why are you even playing this game? How much you get paid to play this game? Don't be needlessly dismissive or reductive. Were you a fan of games like Super Mario Strikers? Did you like playing, you know, uh, New Star Soccer or something along those lines? This is what this is. This is an arcade soccer game that I picked up on a whim. Uh, it's almost like Mario Kart with soccer, and I'm gonna call it soccer. If you feel bummed out that I'm not calling it football, I'm just doing it to avoid confusion with my largely North American audience. You can get over it. I believe in you. Um, this is 12 bucks American on Steam. I picked this up with my own money on a whim because I saw that, uh, even though it's in early access, recently they added online multiplayer to the public beta branch, and I was like, that's enough for me to check it out. Mind you, I don't know anybody else who plays it yet. So, I haven't actually checked out the online multiplayer, but I have been having a really good time actually playing the single player stuff so far. So, the first thing to note, it is pretty bare bones in its current state. I mean, it's one of those things where you look at the main menu and you're like, trophies, don't really care. Leaderboards, don't really care. How to play, should this even be its own button? Options, valid. I'll give you that and quit. But, you know, it, it looks maybe a little bit more robust from a menu perspective than what it actually is right now. However, mechanically the game is so much fun that I'm willing to give it a pass for this pretty easily. Let's start by going back to, um the Asia Cup, which I'm playing in right now. We'll just continue. Um, disregard the interface to some extent right now. Basically what this is, is Mario Kart Plus Soccer. I've been playing uh, as Vietnam because the way you unlock more countries is by winning cups on different difficulty levels, uh, and then you get access to more countries, you use those countries to, you know, play in more cups and so on and so forth. It's kind of like a, you know, 50, 100, 150 CC sort of thing right here. I've played two games. I have one win, one loss, and I'm playing against Jordan next. I'm in the far left one here. So basically, whoever wins out of this game uh, is going to move onwards. If we draw... Oop, that was not what I meant to do. If we draw, then uh, I lose. So I have to win this game. It's basically a three or four button game here. And we'll get over on this side. Um... I'm using the keyboard, so get ready to hear some little click a clack of sounds for sure. S is pass, and you aim with the arrow keys. D is shoot, A is lob, and then uh, A is also slide tackle if you're on defense. Now, apart from that, there's also a sprint button you can use on defense. Um, but there's not a, a whole lot of complexity to the game uh, from a conceptual standpoint. The complexity comes... Oh, God, did we get it? Oh, so close. The complexity comes uh, in actually learning to master the, the relatively simple mechanics. Now, this is... Oh, no, 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 no! It's a terrible start. Um, this is an arcade soccer game. You can... I love the dance, man. It looks like that episode of Rick and Morty where they step on the things to generate power. Um... The, yeah, the mechanics are such that you, there's no red cards, there's no yellow cards. Um, so you can slide tackle anybody, you can try to slide tackle the goalie, and there's also power-ups, and the power-ups are something that we'll see a little later. You usually get access to maybe two or three whoop, per game. And the games can be very high scoring, so don't sweat the fact just yet. There's no penalties either. Um, don't sweat the fact that uh, as of right now, it might look like I'm getting my ass kicked. That may continue into the future here. Ooh, good job, good job! Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job! That's when they're shooting. When it goes slow-mo, that's when they're shooting. Um, we're just gonna try to get through this here. So, oh, I didn't mean to kick it out there. Um, again, the first time you play the game, you can kind of understand what's going on. And if it looks simplistic now, um, you're not wrong. However, one thing that's kind of neat about... Excuse me? One thing that's kind of neat about the game is uh, you can actually generate, almost the same way like Polybridge has the ability to generate gifts that are very shareable, the same thing is true in, in this game as well. Like, the goals that happen oftentimes look extremely impressive, and it really does do a good job of accentuating and, and capturing that arcade feel. All right, this is the first time I've ever had a corner kick. In in an hour and a half or so of play, this is the first time I've ever had a corner kick, so this should be interesting. Um, as a kid, whenever I play FIFA, I always try to just, like, curve it into the net. Should we try? Could this be our magical moment? Let's give it a shot. Oh, maybe we actually have to shoot to, if we're gonna do that? Let's curve it into the net, boys. Oh, it's gonna hit the crossbar for sure. And then ricochet out and they'll get a throw in. Okay, that's fine. Um, in contrast to something like, like FIFA, this is obviously a lot simpler. And in a way, I think that works out a lot, uh, for its, it works out in its advantage, if that makes sense. It, it's really easy to play, and there's only five uh, players per team. And the lines between defense and offense 
are blurred, to put it politely. You know, you can have defenders that actually come up, and it doesn't really matter if you uh, give your opponent a big window, because you can just slide tackle the shit out of them anyway. It's not like you're going to uh, end up giving them a penalty if you tackle them in the box or something like that, so... Dang it. Oh, you can also tackle your own teammates, which I didn't mean to do there, but I'm just trying to get back and give our team a chance. AI, what are you doing? Okay, okay. Fantastic. Great job. We can do this. We do have a power-up available now. Or, sorry, no, the AI has a... Oh, dang it. The AI has a power-up available. What that is is a fan. So, the power-ups are uh, assigned randomly as your meter gets full. You don't have a choice in them, which I think is something that could be, you know, considered... Uh, a negative right now. That fan is going to push me away from the net a little bit, and it's halftime here. Um, I, because I think it would be cool to build like your own deck of power ups, or at least choose which ones you want to have randomly selected from on a mission. For right now, though, they're assigned randomly, and uh, not all power ups are created equal. Like the one that I just got is amazing. It's basically an unblockable shot. I'm going to try to get it off here. Even if you um, get the goalie in front of it, it does not stop the shot. It just basically knocks him out and pushes him into the net. So, if you get that power up and you can manage to unleash it, it does have a little bit of a charge up time, but as you can see, it's basically a guaranteed goal, whereas the fan just, like, is annoying. It's hard to score against the fan, but you know, extra defense is not as valuable as extra offense, especially when the extra offense comes in the form of, like, a, a near guaranteed goal. Let's see if we can get a sweet ass, like, bend it, like, Beckham style bicycle kick! Oh, that was not a bicycle kick, but it was okay. Scored a lot of goals by doing that, you know, little brother technique there of, uh, slide tackling the goalie as soon as they come out. That stopped working in FIFA games around, you know, 1996, but for a while that was a, that was a solid technique. Unfortunately, I have own gold myself a few times, accidentally uh, kicking it into my own net. Oh, I gave the AI the ball. And this is where you point out that the game still is in early access. This is the first time I've ever seen that happen. But there are some bugs. I I've had a player on my team I colloquially, colloquially refer to as Dad Giesling. He's the dude who has the, you know, the blue triangle nose. And also the 1950s haircut. He's chasing after the ball carrier right now. This guy right here. He got stuck in the net for a while. And considering he's like my MVP, that's no good. That was not good either. So we've only got 14 in-game minutes left here, which is bullshit. There's no injury time. At least not during a draw. So basically when that ticks down to 90 minutes, which is getting increasingly close, um, we're, we're fudged. So we really, really need to score like right now. Basically on this drive. If we don't score on this drive, we've probably lost. And that's not going to be a big help, that's for sure. Uh, and then we'll get kicked out of the tournament. We'll have to start all over again, but I will start all over again. That being said, you know, part of the thing with, with easy to play, hard to master is at this point... Oh, we can teleport! We can teleport! There you go! Oh... Part of the thing with being easy to play and, and difficult to master is that at this point, from... Oh, he's freezing me. Yeah, they got me. They got me fair and square there. I wonder if we can just not accept the result and then play it again. No, we cannot do that, which is fair. You lost the tournament. Better luck next time. At least I lost the people who came in third. All right, let's play on the same difficulty level. Random team is fine, uh, and we'll start the game. Again, you unlock more teams uh, by actually winning these tournaments. So we're playing as Palestine. Um, against Israel here, uh, no comment. And, uh, thanks for giving me not a hot button issue game. I really appreciate that. It's the, you're standing in my corner. We got no Dad Giesling on our team this time, I'll tell you that much. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, we, what you've seen is basically the game. There are some dynamite goals that hopefully we'll be able to show off. And I, I mean that sincerely. You might think it just looks like a cartoon character, like, you know, kicking his leg a little bit. Uh-uh. I'm talking, you know... Behind the back, upside down, backflip, bicycle kicks. Well, mostly upside down bicycle kicks, but apart from that, you know, still some noteworthy plays. And it really does do a good job of capturing, like, that feel of, of soccer. Ooh, without overwhelming people with complexity, like, not to necessarily be rude or say that, you know, football's not uh, elegant, but, you know, sometimes people are like, I don't know what the offside rule is. Why can't I just stand right up at the net? This is a game for people like that. Or, people who also like, uh, you know, the concept of soccer itself, and maybe they even play FIFA or follow football uh, to a greater extent, but also wouldn't mind playing something more arcadey from time to time. 
Uh, as of right now, the big problem with the game is that it's uh, pretty feature barren. You can make like, uh, ooh, hey, careful. You can make uh, custom tournaments and stuff like that to play against the AI. And again, in the beta branch, I can't vet, uh, or I, I can't speak for how much it works yet. Oh, you dummies. Getting my butt kicked. Um, I can't speak to how well it actually works, but there is the theoretical concept of one versus one online multiplayer in the public beta branch, presumably coming to the, the live, uh, you know, four mass consumption builds later. Um, but apart from that, it's mostly just the AI. So it's a good thing that the mechanics are actually strong and the game, uh, oh, 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 oh. The game is uh, quite playable to a fun extent against the AI. Like, this is gonna sound like I mean this as an insult to the We Appy, the developers of This Is the Police, but I would rather play like, you know, four hours of this than four hours of This Is the Police any day of the week. And it's just because um, this is a little bit less ambitious, absolutely. And I don't necessarily think that that was my problem with This Is the Police is that it was ambitious, but it's also just uh, oh, that's a goal for sure. Yeah, it's a goal for sure. It's also just um, more moment-to-moment -moment fun, you know? So even though it's a little feature barren mechanically, I think it's quite strong. And it, it really took me by surprise. It kind of came out of nowhere. And I was like, man, I, I bought it on a whim. I think I was actually browsing stuff on Steam. And it was like, if you like this, you'll like, you know. Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember the, the subtitle that comes first in the game. But the, you, you'll really like All-Star Soccer. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Let's go check it out. 12 bucks, you got online multiplayer, and now I'm like, we gotta play this on the NLSS, man. Anyway, let's actually try to win a game here. We're gonna end up playing at least uh, two or three games over the course of this. I mean, we're already on our, our second game here, so we'll probably end up playing three or four, actually. And you can get a feel for how we're gonna play as other countries. I don't know if other countries um, are stronger, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if they have different attributes. Um, I'm assuming no, I'm assuming it's just kind of basically you're unlocking jerseys, but one thing I would really like to see in the game in its, you know, 1.0 format is uh, is a season mode. And I'm not talking about, it doesn't have to be like a managerial thing where, you know, you, you handle the transfer market and stuff like that. But I'd really like to see uh, the ability to kind of just take, just like Rocket League single player stuff, which is not that game strong suit, but I did spend a lot of time, because I'm a dork, that's a goal. That's a freaking goal. That's a goal. Th this is not a goal. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, we got through. We got through. That was not a shot. Oh, I had that goal. I had that goal in my grasp. Um, I think a season mode would be a nice touch. What did I... He didn't get frozen? Just to give you some persistence and even, like, mild stat tracking. Because, you know, from this and Frozen End Zone, like, for whatever reason, I'm a total dork when it comes to uh, single-player sports games, and I love playing them. So I already recognize that I probably am going to like this more than the average person will like this. But at the same time, we played it on stream for a little bit the other day, and I did... Oh, it's a goal! It's a post! That's a goal! <laughs> Beautiful. I did see a lot of people being like, wow, this game has come out of nowhere. I've never heard of it before. It was on Steam Early Access last September, so September 2015. And uh, only in July did it get its uh, public beta branch uh, online multiplayer. But I think it's a good sign, you know. It shows that it is being updated and that, you know, the developers do care. And even, like, what you're watching right now, it's probably not coming across that well in between the little clicky clackies I'm doing here, but... Ooh... We had it under control too. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad Giesling playing against us now. Come on. There we go. Um, there's actually, dang your freaking magnets there. There's actually a lot of, of skill, or at least more skill than it might look originally. Um, when it comes to the basic mechanics like passing and shooting. Shooting, you get to aim a little bit more. Um, passing, you aim manually, but you do it without having a cursor or a crosshair on the screen. So you actually have to, you know, figure it out for yourself just by by feel, basically. Okay, we've, we've like, got a score right now. Another thing I'd like to see... I know it goes against the arcade nature of the game, but I feel like if you have the ball on the attack and you're behind, you should get a little bit of injury time. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, who are we playing now? Guitar. We basically need to win win against guitar here, or um, we're gonna be playing our acoustic guitar quite sadly all the way home. And we're gonna cry, cry, cry all the way home. Name that movie for yeah. I mean, it's a well-known movie. Name that movie for ten points. This is Spinal Tap. All the way home. Anyway. 
Ooh, that's not going in. No way. Palestinian Joe Hart does not allow goals that week. Well, I said that to chat, and chat told me that Joe Hart sucks now. I said, who's the new hotness? And they said a name I've never heard of. That's okay. You know, Joe Hart will all recover. You can find a place on the Palestinian national team. As long as I'm the manager, you got a place. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Okay, stop. Doing little dipsy doodles here. Little dipsy doodles here. Dipsy doodle dandy. How did he get around me? Okay. I'm getting my butt kicked. Not specifically in this game, at least not yet, but like conceptually speaking, um, in every game so far. Oh, like it. I like it. Oh, he just tried to be a little too cutesy with the angle. That's all right. If we beat Qatar, we're back in this tournament, man. That's it. Oh, that's not it. That's it. That might be it. It's the world's greatest player of all time. <gasps> Did you see him? He tried. He tried his damnedest to do the backflip of the century. Yo. Say what you will about the Palestinian national football team, but you can't deny their never say die attitude. Oh, but they, sometimes they do kick the ball out there. And then, I mean, it's one of those let's look at's where I'm like, well, that's pretty much it at this point. Like, that's it for the let's look at. Is it worth 12 bucks on paper? No. When you actually are playing it for yourself? Yes. Even from a single player standpoint, I think. Um, and again, you know, if I compare this to This is the Police, they're very, very different games, and perhaps many people would say they're not worthy of uh, comparison as a result of that, but I kind of I kind of feel that, at least on an intellectual level, there is something to compare there. It's like, do you prefer, um, you know, a game like this that is much more light and a little feature barren, certainly not as ambitious from, like, a narrative standpoint as a... Uh, as a game like this is the police, or do you prefer, prefer uh, something that's a little bit more, uh, you know, serious? Something that might be even a little bit more emotional affecting. For me, and this is not me trying to be snobby about it, I really should use my fan just to get it out of here, but I'm a person for whom mechanics matter more than almost anything else. And, you know, I'll, I'll play 838 hack, and that, that basically proves that, you know, it's a game that's very mechanically strong. Um, graphically, oh, don't freeze me, bro! Graphically, you know, maybe not the most uh, objectively impressive game out there. It's got a style, though. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Pass to yourself. Use the fan just to gain some favor. Oh, I had it, and I lost it. Um, I But mechanics mean everything, so I don't mind, you know, not having any sense of accomplishment in this game as long as the actual moment-to-moment -moment stuff is very fun, and I do find that in this, the moment-to-moment -moment stuff is extremely fun, and if the online actually works, I'm gonna be even more... Uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna be even more stoked about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would I would recommend it. Ca or standard caveat supply. You know, if you're not into sports games, I think that it's fair to say that, you know, is this soccer game for you? The answer to that question is probably no. If you're a real stickler for sto uh, for soccer rules, is this for you? You might find yourself getting annoyed by all the reckless tackling and, you know, oh, that dude would definitely have a torn ACL. You know, back when I played in League 4, we didn't do things like that. I'll tell you that. Okay, so, you know, that might not be for you. Um, but if you're the kind of person who is like... I'll, let me tell you straight up. Rocket League is more impressive than this. But if you're the kind of person who is into Rocket League and you're into games like Rocket League, I think that this is more up your alley than you might have originally expected. And maybe you're like me and just didn't even know that the game freaking existed. And that's been the real surprise for me is that, you know, I, I would have thought that people would be all over a game like this. Why, why is the first time hearing about it from myself? I'm not supposed to be breaking the stories. I'm supposed to be capitalizing on the breaking stories. Please don't let them score on you. Just win one. I just want to know what it feels like. Oh, I mean, I've already won the Oceanic Cup, but it was on the easiest difficulty, so I don't want to. I don't want to just be an easy mode scrub for the rest of my life. Yo, don't even start with that magnet shit, dude. The only magnet I respect is the Magnet Carta that says all men are created equal, and man lives at the North Pole. So we're gonna have, we're gonna be in a zero zero draw here for this game for sure, unless I get. Within the next, like, 10 real-time seconds, I get... Oh! I had a teleport, too! You could have put me inside of the box. No comment on the dirtiness of that. Okay, do we have a chance to qualify? Yes. If we beat... 
earn Iran. If we beat Iran, we'll qualify. So we're going to end the video much as we started it. <sighs> Just got to get the girls that they don't normally... Some of these games, I see them in 10 to 8, and I'm like, all mine are 2-2. So I'm pretty bad at this right now, but it does strike me as the kind of game, the more you play, the better you get, and the better you get quickly. Like, you know, you first start playing a game like Rocket League, you drive the car, you're like, ooh, I missed the ball, <laughs> you know? Now Rocket League is like, yo, if you're not doing aerials on a regular basis that actually have a meaningful impact for the team, you fucked up, son. So I'm, I'm still very much in that, like, hey, I can hit the ball with my player sort of mode, you know? Oh, yeah, good start. Just kick it right out to him. Classic rookie FIFA mistake. Uh, I refuse to watch your goal celebration, my friend. I refuse to watch it. So I'm hoping that... Oh, it's the greatest goal of all time! It's not as he's no dad, dad Giesling, but still. Um, I'm hoping that as I get a little bit better at the game, hopefully, you know, the online comes out in the public branch. There's a community for it. We can play with people that are better than us and, and learn a thing or two about the world that we live in. Oh, you are a dirty dog and I almost gave you a bath of goals there. Bath of goals. <laughs> bath of goals, though. Oh, why do you just let him in every time? That's all right. That's all right. We're doing fine. This win puts us in the quarterfinals. So my... My ambition for this game is not to see it become the greatest game in the world, but assuming the online actually works. Well, I would love to see this show up in a tournament of shame. It seems like a perfect tournament of shame game. 1v1. Easy to pick up, hard to master. Extremely watchable, I think. You know, you're not watching this going, what the fudge is going on. You're watching this going, this is... This is soccer. God dang it! Why can't I seem to put up an adequate defense here. We have to beat Iran. We can't draw against Iran. We have to beat Iran. We say it differently up here. Sometimes we say Iran. Sometimes we say Iran. Ooh, sometimes Andy Samberg does a digital short and he says I ran. I ran so far away. I mean, I'm being real with you right now. I'm not very pleased with myself or the performance that I put in. And I hope the coach doesn't send me down. I hope he doesn't relegate me. By the way, visually, I actually quite like it. Musically, it leaves a little bit to be desired. In that, oh my god, dude. Oh, I'm playing against the fucking X-Men. That's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't mind playing against the X-Men. Um, uh, musically, it'd be nice if there was, like, some, you know, music at all. Apart from the stuff that just shows up in the main menu. Um, not that it's... Oh, corner kick. Not that it's horrible, but, uh, you know... In game, I even I think we could warrant it, um, but sure, let's let's try that. <gasps> they did it! It's the greatest goal that man has ever scored. Oh, you deserve to fuck the air for that one, buddy. Look at this shit. But visually, I actually think it looks quite nice. You know, everybody's got a, everybody's got a strange nose, but at the same time, uh, I I appreciate the visual styles. Cartoony gets the point across. Looks reasonably good. Look at that goal. That is absurd. That was what I was talking about when I said highlight-worthy goals. So we might be down by one. I hate that, though. I was on the attack! We might be down by one for now, but that's okay. We only got to score two. I'd really like to get another power-up, so I probably should use the fan. I guess I'll wait till they get into my zone, and then I'll just use it. If they ever get into my zone again, which I think is highly... the Debatable. Oh, I had it. I had that one. That was my goal and I let it slip away. Okay. There we go. Now when they pass it, their passes are going to be all messed up. Where's the goalie? No. Oh, the ball knocked him out. I didn't know the fan was that strong, actually. All right. So I'm hoping for another power-up. I'm hoping this power-up is... Uh, wow, amazing. I'm hoping this power-up is automatic goal. One of the strongest ones for sure. I find in, in soccer, it's really good if you can just like get a goal automatically. Like That, that tends to be one of the stronger possible power-ups. Oh! 
Oh, that was mine! That was still mine! Why didn't you touch it? Uh, sometimes the AI, I do think, could use some quirks as well. Like, there's only five players, so it's not like it's a major hassle to be switching back and forth between them on a regular basis, but at the same time. Um, I do sometimes wish that the AI was like, you know what, I'm gonna go towards that ball, even if he doesn't switch to me. But that's, you know, I, I have played FIFA games. In particular, FIFA. <laughs> it's probably the most FIFA game I've ever played. But I have played FIFA games recently, even, you know, within the past two or three years. So, um, I, I got a little bit of latent FIFA-ism left inside of me there. So, we're probably fucked. We have to get two goals scored. Oh, no, 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 don't blow it. That's fine. Oh, yeah, don't, why would you touch it? Just let him get it instead. We have to get two goals scored in, like, the next... We have to get three goals scored in the next five minutes. So we will lose, and we will be knocked out of the tournament. I guess the Palestinian national team maybe is not as amazing as I'd hoped for, but, I mean, we can always just score one like that. I think people are going to watch this video and be like, it seems like the power-ups are really imbalanced. That is a takeaway that I have as well. Even as I'm playing the game, I'm like, man, this is... This power-up is too good. Sometimes you'll be like, this power-up should be made worse, or other power-ups should be made better. No, this power-up should be made worse. Either way, we lost. But, we got to tell you about the game. We didn't even lose to anybody who was in the top three either, which is even more embarrassing. This is embarrassing, by the way, but I always forget the subtitle on the game, so allow me to go back to this. Copa Nito All-Stars Soccer is the game. Copa Nito. Her name was Rita. Hey, she was a show girl. It's 12 bucks American on Steam. Is it worth it on paper right now? No, from a mechanical level, especially if you can get uh, other people to play with you. Locally, you can have five people on the same machine playing, by the way, but I don't think you can do local and online. Like, I don't know if you can do five people local and play against five other people online, uh, even if they're all in the same house. But um, even just a single player versus AI, I'm having a good time so far. I'm looking forward to trying out the multiplayer with other people. If you think you would be in the same boat, there is a link in the video description to pick this up on Steam if you're interested. It's not a sponsored video. I'm just a big dork when it comes to single player sports games apparently for now thanks for watching if you enjoyed the episode click the like button it helps out a great deal and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now thanks for watching and i will see you next time